Okay, so logging into your bank account for Bank of America, go into the bank account you want to use. You're gonna the first thing you're gonna see is activity. We're gonna download. Hit download at the bottom and custom rate date range. So we want it for last year, 2021. 12 first one enter okay so this is the download you're gonna hit then custom date range change the dates that you want file type this is where it gets tricky we will select microsoft excel format okay download it and make sure you it you will save this as soon as you open so as soon as it's um, downloads the whole file, we will open it and save it. Let's close this. Okay. We will save it. So file, save, and so you know where it is. I will save. I will drag it to your file, a folder where you're going to work. You can do it on desktop and let's get to work. So the first thing you will do is eliminate this to from one to six, we will click, right click and delete it. And we'll keep our titles. This will make it bigger so we can see this. I will not go all the way because I don't want you to see the descriptions for security purposes. Okay, and the amount is fine. Running balances, this is what we will delete. We don't need this, okay? And the first one as well, one, one, beginning balance as of blah, 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 we don't need this line. Click and delete. Okay, so this, we will change it to dollars. And this is what where we will create another column that's category so we will change we will add name this based on what the transfer or what this is for our tax verb okay so you will click on description and look what it is we pay to this company and this is a contractor that we don't need to Send 1099 for because it's a corporation. We already collected a W9 from them and they already they told us they're an S Corp, so we don't have to send them a 1099. So we will list it as contractors and you will do the, the, the same for every transaction. Categorize it based on what they are. A parking over here. Um meals and entertainment not just meals there's no entertainment anymore parking taxes if it's the french tax board uh google um we have some advertisements and any income we will name it as income if there's transfers to our personal or yeah our business personal accounts then we will name it personal and categorize it throughout the whole page and we'll come back after I categorize every single transaction. Okay, so after categorizing every single item, your PL or your worksheet should look like this. The line one should have date description, amount, and category, and every single cell after that should have a a data. Either a day, description, amount, or the name of the category. There should be nothing blank, otherwise this will not work. Okay, everything is completed. We fill out everything. If we don't know, we can put as my accountant or I will ask later, but a name for the category needs to be completed, okay? And what we will do is we will highlight from D 164, so basically all of it from the bottom up, make sure we don't miss anything. And then we will go to insert, pivot table, and leave the range, it already 
already assume the data or the highlighted part so we don't have to do anything but we'll just click existing worksheet for where our pivot table is going to be placed and the location will be right here somewhere pick somewhere it within this worksheet i'll just do it right there so we get to see it and we will hit on the pivot field we will hit category and amount and there you go this is a profit and loss uh, our expenses are a negative number our income for this company is apple income is this if you wanted to see it in numbers you can highlight this part and click here so you have it as dollar amount so everything will go on the PL except for this personal it this is a um a balance sheet item this will be a distribution um, so it will not be an expense because it's a personal item that shouldn't in the first place shouldn't have been in our worksheet it's this actually it was a contribution because this business was new so the, this business needed a lot of contribution from the shareholder okay so if you're a schedule c you can use all of it except for this number you won't even need to put it anywhere on your tax return if you're a sole prop and failing out a schedule c but if you're an s corp you will come you will enter this on your schedule l um there's one question if you're not completing a balance sheet it will ask you what is your distribution amount so you will just enter this number okay okay so to make sure that all the numbers are correct or are included and or, or if you want a balance sheet number for your checking account this is what you will do since we started on January, the beginning of January for 2021, we will need the beginning, beginning balance as of 1-1-21. So we will go back on our, uh, on our Bank of America. We will hit statement and documents. Look for your 2021 and open the first one in the last month. Okay. So we will do, this is our first month, January. The beginning, our beginning number was 20,000. So we will go back to 20,000 right here. We will enter it so there's no conflicts here. And our ending number, our ending number should be equal this plus the sum of all of our new transactions okay we close out the parentheses right here and click enter and it's given us 90 one two three sixty nine then we'll go to our december our ending balance december 31st 2021 is ninety thousand one twenty three point sixty nine. that means our p l is or our yeah our p l contains all the numbers on our bank accounts without in, missing or taking any numbers out and if you're completing your balance sheet for or schedule L for your tax return uh, for your S Corp not a sole prop or schedule C but for your S Corp or partnership if you want to present your balance sheet this will be the beginning and this will be the ending of your cash account because this is our checking account okay I hope this helped please stay tuned please subscribe like this video if you have any questions on this let me know and I can create another video to answer more of your questions Thank you very much.